What? Happy Tuesday, everyone. What's going on? What's on the up and up? So great to see you all. Hello, Nekomichi. Hello, Spiritual Enigma. Hello. I was about to say hi to myself again. Oh, once again, Pikachu is taking the spotlight. Incredibly rude. Look at me. I'm the bell of the ball. Yeah! Me. Me. Hello, Dodoku. How you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up? Oh, yes. Panda Wish Bot has once again run out of her. Uh... Oh, my God. This is getting to be outrageous. Outrageous, I tells you. Why are you doing Why are you doing me like that? Dodoku, you're doing good? That's great to hear. I mean, okay, you said you're doing okay, which is less, less positive than great. Oh, don't press the button. No. Me. I'm the... Hi, Angelotta. How you doing? What's going on? What's on the up and up? Why? <laughs> Why? Why Pikachu? <laughs> Don't look at him. Stop it. <laughs> no, no. He's the four. He's the background. I'm the focus. I'm the celebrity. Why are you doing me like this? Why? What's going on here? Uh, Angela, Nekomiki, speaking of asking how people are, one good thing about having COVID, no one expects you to be polite, lie, and say that you're okay. They expect you to tell, say you feel like crap. Well, that's a positive. Why? <laughs> and then uh, Pika looks on. Yeah, Pika looks great. Pika looks ravishing. My entire background looks phenomenal. There's, you could see Rexy in high definition. You could see Boo. You could see the terrible Tom Mary twins. You could see Laxachu. You could see everyone doing great. But me, I'm blurry. I'm the foreground. <laughs> Notice me. Why you do this? Yeah. Oh. Oh, now you figured it out. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> what if you swap Chew with the terrible Tomberry twin? See, Chew fits perfectly in his little spot. It's just got to be this way. Okay, hi. Hi, everyone. Maybe now that, like, I'm kind of, maybe I'm, like, squishing more to the right now. So I'll kind of cover Pikachu's face. And hopefully it just notes that mm, I'm the celebrity and <laughs> not Pikachu. <laughs> um, and just, oh, that is true. The days of COVID you feel like makes you feel like crud. Yeah. For me, when I had COVID, all I did was sleep, sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. Uh, and Jalad, honestly, I'm jealous of your background. But then again, if you saw Nekomichi's collection of Cat and Marie dolls, so great. Um... Yeah, I myself, uh, Marie is very cute. Um, well, everyone, it's so great to have you here. Um, Nekomichi says, yours is the worst so throat you ever had. Wow. Okay, I've never, my, uh, my, when I had, there we go. That's the clue. That's the secret. I just got to put my hands up. When I had uh, the vids, I didn't actually get a sore throat. This is really good. Okay. Oh, my. God. No. <laughs> Me, please, for the love of God. <sighs> why you do this? Why you do this? Camera? Why? Why? Me. I need to fix this camera. I need to get in here and adjust. Is it because it's maybe it's too bright here? I'm going to adjust the the light on this one camera here. I mean, on this one thing here. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Okay, maybe now that it's not as bright, maybe it'll be like, oh, oh, maybe this is the foreground. You know? Maybe it is. Yes. Okay, maybe that was the solution. I had to turn the brightness down on everything. Um, uh, Dodoku, if you could see all my Deadpool Funko Pops, you'd be like, 
damn, this guy's obsessed. <laughs> I mean, hey, who am I to judge walking around with all my Pikachus? Okay, let's see here. Uh, we're going to start. Oh, mm -mm. why? Don't do this. Don't be like this. Me. We'll just go like this. Okay. Okay, whatever. You know what? Whatever. I can be blurry down here. I'm small. Deeds. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. Wahoo! 23 months. So great to see you, my friend. Um, Nadoku, you have over 80 of them. Get out of town. Nekomichi, let's see. Five with Goose, two with Mr. Mittens, two of Grumpy, two of Marie, Mi Morgana, Figaro, three with Socks. Figaro was a little kitty cat, a little kitty cat, a little kitty cat. Figaro was a little kitty cat. No room for kitty. Cleo was a little bitty fish, a little bitty fish, a little bitty fish. Cleo was a little bitty fish. Oh, what a pity. Figaro looked at Cleo with hunger in his eyes, then shook his head and sadly said, no, no, I'd rather die, for I just can't eat that little bitty fish, the little bitty fish, the little bitty fish, although he'd make a tasty little dish. You ever, y'all know that Figaro song? Figaro and Cleo? <laughs> Ooh, I'm pretty sure, says Deeds, <laughs> that you are my longest sub streak. Really? I'm super honored. You've never heard that? Oh, it's like a little Figaro. It's a little song about Figaro and Cleo, the little fish. And it was on one of my Disney sing-alongs. So that's why I know all the music. Um, Dedoku, my cat is named Figaro and he's anything but little. Hello, he's a chunk of chunk. <laughs> Deeds, I am so honored. And Deeds, you know what it is? We can play Final Fantasy XIV together now. And, um, you know, I... We haven't yet, so what the heck are we doing, right? What are what are we doing with our lives? Okay. I am going to put the next vote up for uh, what we should do next, okay? We finished, uh, finished prehistory, pre so... <clears throat> I know, I know. Um, okay. You'll be... Okay, let's see. Poll. You'll be at my show, watching, waiting, commiserating, saying so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, what? What era next, folks? Okay, so we got. The wild, we can only do five choices, so we, one will be cut off, which I'm going to do one of the future ones here. The Wild West. Twilight, or Edo Japan. Edo, sorry, it's Edo. Edo. Um, Imperial China. Present day. And... Oh, right. We get to add one of the... Okay, we'll do uh, near... I'll put near future in there. Uh, near future. There we go. That looks right. Okay. Uh, starting the poll, you tell me where we go next. Deeds, I haven't really even logged into Final Fantasy XIV. Just enough to keep my house. But hopefully later this month, I will visit you. Anywho, I'll be lurking. You'll be my back early work on cosplay tonight. Thank you so much, Deeds. I super appreciate that. Have a great night, my friend. <laughs> this song I know. <laughs> spiritual Enigma. Is that a ninja and a cowboy? Oh, Spiritual Enigma. You could choose all of them. Um, Deeds, you're doing, you're being a long cactus, right? That's what you're making a thing of, a long cactuar. Okay, so currently the Wild West is at number three. I mean, is number one, but with three votes. Imperial China has the next vote. This is our current winner. Oh, currently Mercedes from Odin Sphere. Nice. Uh, enchilada. Putting in for that China era because their battle music is awesome. And to help you, I can give you a tip on that. Nice. Deeds, that one's done. But yes, I'm so excited for that one. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be really cool. 
Um, this reminds me, um... Nekomichi, I've decided my next costume is Jesse from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Cute. That'll be awesome. Oh, we got a vote for near future in. So we got three for the Wild West, one for Imperial China, and one for the near future. Um, put, having this current little vote here for three minutes reminds me I need to put the vote up uh, tonight. Tonight, I must remember to put the vote up for our next game after Live Alive. Enchilada's gonna be your wedge. Oh, that's so fun. Ooh, Near Future has two votes. Oh my goodness. Oh, Wild West now has four votes. Holy guacamole. Yes, put the vote up for Suikoden too. I mean, uh, the next game. <laughs> Enchilada, yes, I'm gonna be wedge. That's awesome. That's awesome, you guys. It'll be rad. Will you, will you wear that to PAX? No, Captain Giraffe, I didn't have time to do the thing today. I had to work a lot today. And I did all of my laundry, like a month's load of laundry, folks. I hadn't done my laundry since I went on vacation, so. Nekomichi, oh, they won't be done for PAX. Lol, lol, lol. Uh, Spiritual Enigma, thanks for the hydrate. I will once again hydrate. has like three months of laundry to do lol yeah I can't I like I can let my place become quite disasterish but I feel really really bad in my heart of hearts and so I like have to go nuts and like deep clean every so often uh okay so the wild west is the winner the wild west is the winner the www okay so it's, it's the shortest of chapters, too. Really? I thought someone told me that present day was the shortest. The American frontier is a place of foolish dreams and dashed hopes. A tired soul rides into a dying town terrorized by outlaws. Success, they call it, though to look at it now, none can imagine why. Against a gang of villains, a lone guns gunslinger stands no chance. But perhaps, by working together with the locals to prepare traps before the crazy bunch arrives, one man may yet make a difference. Yeah. Well, hey, we're going to have some actual dialogue today. So that'll be fun. Oh, the sheriff's office. The Crystal Saloon. Enchilada says, eh, it depends. This one's pretty short, too. But enjoy. Thank you, Enchilada. Thank you. Oh, the main character design for this one, Usamu Ishiwata. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is a jam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Howdy, Sheriff. Something to drink? Nope, but I got something for you to post up. More trouble in these parts, huh? Uh, more trouble in these parts. I swear. Thought it couldn't get any worse after that last bunch rolled in. <laughs> Bless my soul. Hello, Devil Huntress. This is your favorite story. Nice. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> okay. What's your clever moniker? Okay. Yes, he is absolutely sundown.
You love you some cowboys. Nice. Herc is on a roll. Hey, Dodoku. <laughs> Oh, and cowgirls, of course. Actually, I kind of want to call them, call them cow gals. I loves them cow gals. I don't know why. Just I'm like, yeah, cow 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 gals. <laughs> don't look all that young to me. Aw, oh, yeah. Mm. I'm sad my horse doesn't have any vibrations with his little hooves. Stardew has spoiled me. When you run around on your horse, you can feel a little from your little gallops. Fancy meeting you here, partner. We've only done prehistory so far, Devil Huntress. Oh, why the long face? Reckon you'd be relieved to finally put this life on the lamb behind you. <laughs> Kodiak vibration hadn't yet been invented in the Wild West. You're right, Kodiak. You're right. Honestly, a little gratitude would be appreciated. Come on, let's do this proper. Can I have people casting aspersions on the great bounty hunter, Mad Dog? So I have, uh, every time we get to the chapter select, I make, uh, I make chat choose my chapters, so. No, sir. Never let it be said he shot an unarmed man in cold blood. How many times we done dance this dance, man? It's almost like saying goodbye to a lover. Bard had it right. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Uh -oh. Okay, can we hit him from here? No, okay, we gotta. Ah, resistant. Ah, resistant. Wow. Rude. Ooh, I got a counter. Nice. Yeah, that's right. I'm good. Nekomichi says that the Japanese version went crazy with casting gags. In this case, Sundown's Japanese actor had also done a bunch of Western movie dubs. Nice. And Gelada, yes, Sundown Kid has a very nice counter. Sweet. Son of a bitch! <gasps> Language. Me, God damn it! Don't you dare walk away from me again! I think I'll Finish be on me. my way. <laughs> right? <laughs> How dare you! Shooting at my Goldie? Killing a man is one thing, but you leave his horse out of it. I ain't done talking! Hey, Space Robot Arm, how you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up? Another town. You love Mad Dog? Yeah. I agree. Don't shoot a man's horse, you know? The Wild West, the Wanderer. Uh, let me just make sure I, I, the naughty words are not a problem. <laughs> just making a joke. <laughs> 
Red Dead Alive, it's true. Hello, mashed potato fan. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate, Devil Huntress. Ding. Oh, no, I know. Don't worry. I just was ensuring anyone else didn't know. Who didn't know maybe thought we were serious. Uh, Space Robot Arm says, uh, doing well, you? Man, that Yoshi sound would have been perfect a few seconds earlier, right? Double Huntress asks, have you ever ridden a horse? I have rode a horse. Um, one of my babysitters when I was a kid had horses. And uh, and so I learned learned to horse. Nekomichi, if I really had problems with the language, I'd turn off the stream. <laughs> what are you thinking? Hell of a place. Real popular, too. Well, there's secrets around here. At least the one nice thing about this game is that things sparkle when they're a secret. Though let me know if there is ever operate cases where things will not sparkle and it's a secret. Have you ever been in a horse though? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, my babysitter had horses and I, uh, I rode the horses there when I was a kid and that was really fun. I even like did it on my own, like without like anyone like helping. Um, it was really, really fun. I liked it a lot, but as an adult, I have not ridden a horse. Okay. Locked up tight. <laughs> okay, well, it'll be some things I guess I could say. Okay. Okay, it's still locked up tight. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's be real here. My voice acting will always be better than what they're going to provide us in this video game. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> okay, everything's probably locked up tight, but... No, that's what I'm saying. I mean, mine would be better. <laughs> uh, Nekomichi. In the Imperial China chapter, there's a character who's based on the martial artist actor Sammo Hung. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Captain Giraffe, for giving Pandoishbot uh, a sub. Captain underscore Giraffe gifted a tier one sub to Pandoishbot. You're bad at memeing. Oh, because you're asking, have you ever written a haunt, though? Oh, you would actually, that wasn't a, that wasn't a mistype? Did I just, did that one go over my head? <laughs> Devil Huntress, well, you're going to be my chill stream. I fall asleep because I haven't slept in days. Oh, no. Well, I hope that you're able to ha get some rest. Um, I do pride myself on being a very chill streamer. So, <laughs> uh-oh. I am the commander of the mares, I and I alone. Shut up. C c can I help you? Uh, um, uh, g greetings, my friend. We are all friends here. You a uh, vaquero? Ah, maybe not. Tequila, yes, tequila. That's what you need, yes? Captain Giraffe, Twitch is doing the thing of not letting me know things at the moment. That went through, it sure the heck did. Thank you so much, Captain Giraffe. I really appreciate that. Wanted, dead or alive. Sundown kid, $5,000. I don't know. Looks familiar. 
What's a haunts space robot arm? Howdy, stranger. Thirsty? Or uh, you got a hankering for something more substantial? Free of charge, of course. God damn, is it hot out there? Marquee, the usual. Hmm? Hey, stranger. Seems you're sitting on my favorite stool. Oh, I'm sorry, Nekomichi. Hey, you deaf or just stupid? Just stupid, sir. Well, that's enough. Your name on it, huh? Cause I don't see it, do you? Waltzing in here, acting like you own the place without spending a dime. We don't need that kind of customer. No, thank you. Now, Annie, darling, there's no need to make a scene. Annie! Settle down now. Don't you talk to me like that. <laughs> Big, strong men. Striding around like you own the place because of what you got dangling between your legs. Oh my. <laughs> Wait! They'll look down at between Jace. their legs. <laughs> Well, don't you? So use them. Oh, she's very angry. <laughs> oh, Annie. Full of fire and fury. Real Hellraiser. I love it. I mean it, darling. Be my woman. Get away from me! Ooh. Nakamichi, so from what I understand, they toned down this from the original release. <laughs> I know you didn't just raise a hand to me. Uh oh. Because there's some things a man cannot abide. Leave her alone. Oh dear. Billy! If it isn't the brave sheriff's little brat. Here to save the day, huh? I hate to break it to you, kiddo. But I ain't got time for your shit. <gasps> Ooh. Sorry about that, stranger. The boy was out of line. But I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Tell you what. Let me buy you a drink to smooth things over. Barkeep! Milk for my new friend. Milk? You dumb make two mistakes, mister. <laughs> You're that ought to suit a delicate flower like yourself. Yeah, I'll Won't drink some milk. Look at that. Downed it like a man dying of thirst. I think my new friend needs another. Barkeep! Heads up! Figure that ought to suit a delicate flower like yourself. Okay, so I'm guessing that I wasn't supposed to drink it. <laughs> What's this? One glass of milk's enough for me, mister. You spitting on my generosity? Oh, yeah. How else am I to interpret the return of this milk I see before me? And to top it off, this hangover. But that's what I get for drinking the cheap piss they serve here. Let me guess. 
It's not that you hate milk, but that you can't stomach it, lest it's fresh from your mother's tits. Oh my. Oh yeah. Your mother's maybe. Your mother's maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you got a death wish? Not it? <laughs> Yikes for a switch game. I mean, I mean, uh, they have uh, Shin Megami Tensei on the Switch, so. You know it's so wild to me this game only has a teen rating but if this content would have been like on the ps1 back in the day this would have been jacked to m for sure like the fact that persona games get m rating okay no persona games get m ratings because of mara well what am i talking about <laughs> Riding with the crazy bunch. That was amazing. You gave Pike a hiding he won't never forget. With him on our side, I just know we can beat them. Yeah. What's all the ruckus? I mean, Incubus, he's not like I mean, Incubus has like a big pointy uh wiener for sure, but it doesn't really look like one, so you can kind of like kind of blur it a bit. But Mara is just a big, old, giant dong <laughs> on on his on wheels. <laughs> There's no getting around that one. <laughs> Sheriff, this fella here, see, he, he just rode into town and... Captain Draft, strong language, fantasy violence, automatic M rating on the PS1, right? It would have been for sure. Oh, now you show up. In the nick of time, as always. My father, the sheriff. The coward. <gasps> Billy, son, try to understand. If we so much as look at these people the wrong way, there's gonna be hell to pay. But if we don't take a stand, then nothing will ever change. Oh, Annie, please. I don't want to hear it. Our sheriff, my brother, every last man in this town is a coward. Dun dun dun. This boy here's got more courage than all of you put together. Sheriff, listen. This fella here, see, he, he just might be the answer. Alas, good people. I fear you have misjudged the content of that villain's character. All yellow bellies. <laughs> A man's name is a story. And that one speaks volumes. Hi, Mad Dog. You deserve to know, so I'll tell you. The kid. Yeah, that's right. That there's the devil himself. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's him. On the wanted poster. Five thousand dollars, dead or alive, and the one who's gonna bring him in is me, Mad Dog. Liar! I am many things, boy, but I am no liar. You're a good guy, right, Mister? I ain't no saint, kid. I'm no saint. 
No. No. I don't believe it. <laughs> Always were lousy with the little ones, weren't you, kid? Gold is still out there, you know. Lost or dead in the desert. But you'll answer for that. And everything else. Soon enough. Outside. Now. It's... It's a showdown! A showdown! Showdown, showdown! Don't even think about running. No, but I would like to explore around this inn. I saw a sparkly earlier and I think I deserve it. Aha. Nice. Ooh, a flask of herbal liniment, huh? <laughs> Th -th that's really you up on the wall, isn't it? You'll win, right? Yeah, you bet so, kid. I'm not sure if I can do anything for you. I, uh, uh... What a day. It's all gone to hell in a handbasket. Do it or don't. But if you're gonna, do it outside. I wish you luck, stranger. Surely there's no need for this? Why can't we all be friends? I would not want to face that pistolero. 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 Locked up real tight. Man, I just want to explore. Spiritually Digma says the way the characters move reminds you of Ark the Lad. You know, I've never played Ark the Lad. I saw a nice copy of it the other day, like of the Ark the Lad collection for the PS1. But it was really expensive. Now there's a look I've never seen on you before. Spiritual Enigma. Oh, I got that one back in the day for $30. Don't have it anymore, though. Oh, that's always such a bummer, hey? Oh, a pang of sadness for the end of our extended association? <laughs> I understand. I truly do. But all good things must come to an end. And end it we will, kid. From ten paces. Each man takes five. I'll count it off. On the fifth, we turn and fire. Agreed? Right then. One. Two. Three. <laughs> the guy in the back is hiding and scared. <laughs> Five. Hey. He's one of the crazy bunch. Oh, the crazy Those bunch. Two gunslingers. How'd they know? <laughs> Just my luck. These simpletons ruining a perfectly good duel. Spiritual Enigma. The VA is really good so far in this game. You know, it's not too shabos. Wow! You both are incredible! With them backing us up, maybe, just maybe, we can take on the crazy bunch. 
Listen, I guarantee there's a whole lot more of them on the way. And they'll be out for blood now. You've got to help us fight. Well, when you put it like that, not that I could ever muster the strength to turn a woman down. Sorry, kid. But it seems our duel will have to wait. But only until after we've dealt with the crazy bunch. There's got to be something we can do to help, isn't there? Um, I didn't make anything for dinner. I actually went out for dinner. Um, I had some yam fries. And some nachos. Hey, um, if you're serious about staying to fight, then it's only right that we fight too. That was some fine shooting, and that ain't no lie, but there's at least 15 more of those boys left. Right, I gotta get, make sure they all have their accents. Bring back the McLobster. If you go to the East Coast, I'm sure you can get yourself a McLobster anytime you want, Rex. How you doing? If I'm being honest, none of us are all that good with guns. Just as likely to shoot each other as one of the crazy bunch. The crazy bunch ain't exactly short on shooters. Dad will have a chance of beating in a straight up fight. I tell you what, <laughs> dying heroically during a valiant last stand does not appeal to me one bit, no sir. Let's see what these folks can tell us about our would-be killers. Solo somos humildes mariachi. Atrapados en la red del destino. <laughs> Sin poder escapar de este pueblo. Donde la sangre fluye como el vino. Rex. Um, I got a job offer in Calgary for 34 bucks an hour. Oh, you should go for it. That sounds amazing. But it's Calgary. Hey, I don't think there's anything really wrong with Calgary. Uh, Captain Jeff, yam fries and nachos? Thinking about it, that'd be an amazing combo. I mean, it's, it was just like two appetizers, right? Just ate some appetizers for, for dinner. You're both so fast. I just know we can get rid of those outlaws with your help. If you manage to get rid of those bastards, I promise we'll make it worth your while. We've got a little gold squirreled away. It's yours if we survive. I reckon you think the man who named this town success must have had a sense of humor, but you're wrong. Back in the day, the streets were filled with prospectors hoping to strike it rich in the gold rush. That's why the gangs come calling, to strip the carcass clean of the last few bits of meat on the bone. You know who leads them, don't you? The only survivor of Custer 7th. A devil who by all right should be dead in dust. Odio, the outlaws call him. They flock to the man, their shepherd with a heart of stone. He'll have broken camp the moment he heard what you two did. He can't let it go unanswered. Looks like it's still broken. <laughs> so be it. If they've got us outnumbered, then we'll just have to even the odds before the big soiree. We ambushed them, kid. We've got to prepare traps and whatnot to whittle down the gang when they ride in. That's how we'll win. Having said that... Feels a bit improper for us to do all the work, given that this is as much your fight as it is ours, if not more. I suppose I'll do what I can. Count me in. Nekomichi, I've got some interesting trivia Honey. about this chapter, but gotta wait until you beat it because it's spoilers. We already know nothing will change if we keep our heads down and stay quiet. I say enough is enough. Better to take a stand, come what may. But, honey, it's... it's not... She's right. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of them pushing us around. What about you, Cesar? Well... Yeah, yeah, I've had it up to here with them, too. Cesar's in. Thank you for the hydrate. Then, my friends... 
The time has come. For the liberty and justice. Hi, Satari. <laughs> like something out of a fairy tale, is it? I believe the only one who has yet to declare their intentions is you, Sheriff. with your father's badge. Here, mister. You deserve it. My pa... My pa ain't fit to wear that badge. Ooh, harsh from your own kid. I've been living in fear for the longest time terrified of what might happen if I dare do the right thing but now I see sometimes you've got to brave the fire to forge a brighter future they may call you the kid but to me here and now you're a good man the right man for the job so hold on to that badge and when the dust has settled I pray I'll have done my part to earn it back a sheriff's badge, huh? Not much left to discuss then, I reckon. Me and the kid will scrounge up supplies for the ambush. No point in asking y'all for help. I wager we've a bit more experience with this sort of work. Deputizing the stranger. Is of the essence, kid. The, and the kid did it. <laughs> Can't spend too long rummaging around either. Or we'll run out of time to prepare. Ooh. Mad dogs join the party. Totally random flag raised by the sheriff. They'll strike at dawn, that's their way. Soon as the sun crests the horizon, they'll come riding into town from both sides. That means you've got until the eighth bell to make your preparations. We'll only have the one chance. If we're not ready by the time they arrive, Anyway, when you've got everything you need, come back here. We're all ready and willing to do our part. Just say the word. Okay, preparing for the crazy brunch. Brunch? The crazy brunch? Crazy bunch. Absolutely not going to be killed, right? When the eighth bell rings at dawn, the crazy bunch will ride into town. Listen carefully to Mad Dog's advice and work with the townsfolk to set traps before the outlaws arrive. Okay, we're being timed. Panda is immediately freaking out. <laughs> there are two ways to spend your time before the crazy bunch comes crawling. Calling. Gosh, why do you keep putting R's in words? Search the town for items that can be used for traps. Ask locals to set traps with the items in your inventory. Every moment counts, so think carefully before taking action. A word of advice, kid. Remember this moment. Save the memory if you take my meaning. Oh. It all goes oh, I'm catching your drift. <laughs> Do you all see my little, uh, right there under the word save? There's like a little loading icon that has never gone away. It's just there. I think it's the, oh yeah, it's definitely the game. Yeah. Oh, really? It's always there? Cause it looks like a little load. Yeah, I think it's like a bug. The top left under main menu, there's like a little, like it looks like it's just, it's loading. And it was there during the cutscenes. It eventually goes away. Okay, yeah. Is the game constantly autosaving or something? No, I think it's a bug. I think it's just like ar an artifact. Like it's just sitting there. It's messed up anyway. Um... So yeah, that's just my my thought process here. Okay, what do you what do you guys got? 
you would have not noticed that unless you pointed it out. Fair. A bottle of Miracle Tonic, huh? Shoot. We're wasting valuable time here. Rude. A carrot, huh? A carrot, huh? Bottle of coal tar, huh? Pile of horse shit, huh? A carrot, huh? Ooh. First bell. First bell. Okay, good to know. An empty bottle, huh? Ooh, this place is a waste of time. Well, dang, little darn. tonight what's going on what's on the up and up my friend pouch of oil in a bottle makes for a quick and easy way to start a fire it'll take a moment to prepare reckon it's worth doing yeah okay let me show you how it's done there you go bottle fire just light her up and toss quick I'm doing really great thank you so much for asking Frying pan, huh? A carrot, huh? Okay, let's go get some of these townspeople uh, doing some stuff. but it just seems like common sense that a wide variety of traps would be most effective. If you rely too much on the same kind of traps, they might learn to recognize and avoid them, no? This may be a small town, but if you spend too much time searching for supplies, Dom will break before you know it. Oh dear. Second bell. Mm. Got everything you need for your ambush? I take it that means. I thought I was supposed to give them stuff? Or do I do that after I say I have enough stuff?
Strip of jerky, huh? Make sure you visit every home and location first, then set the traps. Oh, okay. Ooh, lots of stuff in the sheriff's office. A peacemaker, huh? A bunt line special, huh? Empty, huh? Oops, is that a door there and I missed it? Ah, but there's nothing up there. Okay. Well then, never me mind. Third bell. Third bell. Shovel, huh? Okay, I know that we already inspected the inn and there was nothing in there. But I feel like I like talk to that person. They're like, maybe you could check out the inn. And I hope it's not just like a... Oh, wait, this is not the inn. Oh, shoot. Get out of here. Pretty sure nothing's gonna show up in here now, but I'll just check one room. Okay, no, nothing. Okay, good. I'm gonna get out of here. Ah, waste of time, waste of time. They just said, oh, you should go check it out there for stuff. But I'm like, I already did, and there was nothing in it. Rude. Okay, I think I've visited every place. Oops, wrong button. distribute your supplies to the folks here. It goes without saying that some will take longer than others to get things ready. So hurry. Time's a wasting. Listen, I'm doubt I cut out for whatever you're planning, but if you're short of people, come to me before Cesar. Okay. I wouldn't put too much stock in my husband's claims. I handle most of the work at the boarding house. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? Um, okay, bottle of fire would be her, okay. Whatever you've got in mind, I could probably handle it better than Clint. Hmm. Wayne's not a bad guy, but if you got an important job, leave it to me. I'll get it done faster. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? Give a motivated man a shovel and he won't let you down. I'll tell you that. Okay, here you go. Bye bye me. Don't even think about leaving me out of it because I'm a woman. What can I do to help? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? 
Um, might seem presumptuous to offer a woman a frying pan, but in the hands of one like that, watch out. Yeah, she definitely gets the frying pan. Hey, mister, think you could use this? A slingshot, huh? Oop. Okay. Fourth bell, kid. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? How about the little devil's own weapon? Yeah, here's his slingshot. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? All right, Kipper may not wear the pants at home, but I wouldn't count him out just yet. Um, okay, then, um... Hmm. Okay, I don't know yet for you. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? Doesn't strike me as a man of any particular talent, but hell, gotta be good for something. Um. Somos tres abildosos. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? You're the man of carrot? I ain't kidding neither. Okay. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Okay. Somos tres, no soy el mejor. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Um, okay. What about the bartender? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? He's someone eager to do their bit. Question is what would suit him? Um Shock Broadcast, welcome on in. How you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Hello, Lady Bear Bone Chalk Raid. How's it going? What's going on? What's on the up and up, my friends? I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. Don't see how we could make use of that. It oh. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Just be zone of the enders. Nice. Well, welcome on in, Raiders. Hope you're having a ra a really great night. Um, and I hope that you had a wonderful stream, folks. If you don't follow Bone Chalk Broadcast, please think and do. Really awesome person, kind of all face? around. Um, real great. I'm um, sorry, I'm just, I'm currently, uh, currently timed, and so I'm just making sure, uh, <laughs> dynamite, yeah. Um, oops, wrong button. Many amazing things happen here. Hey, Jed, how you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up? You just be Zone of the Enders. Did you love Zone of the Enders? Uh, folks, please go give Bone Truck follow Broadcast a follow if you haven't already. Um, super great streamer. I know I just said that, but I'm just saying that when I can concentrate on what I'm doing. And hello for those of you who don't know me. Hello, hello, I'm Pando. I stream JRPGs. Um, we're going through all of Live Alive right now. Uh, it's very fun. This is on just our second chapter. Um, the first, yesterday we finished prehistory. Oh my god. <laughs> run, Pando, run! <laughs> Go faster! <laughs> you have got to get rid of, you have to get past Apocalypse. It's coming for you, little buddy. <laughs> Whoa! Anonymous, thank you so much for that. Holy guacamole. 
I agree. <laughs> it's so, it's really incredible. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm so excited every time I see him. Run, Panda, run! <laughs> you get, you get a big treat for 15. That is, this is probably your favorite thing you've ever seen, right? He's a panda escaping the apocalypse. And he's doing it on his little trike, and I believe in him every time. Um, so thank you so much for that, Anonymous. Thank you so much for that raid, uh, uh, Bone Chalk. It really, really means so much to your pando. Um, okay, let's see here. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? Um... Mm. Somos tres a veces salgo. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Okay, here we go. Need you to set a trap. Hey Brig, what what's going on? Thinking? What's on the up and up, my friend? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Hmm. Don't see how we could make use of that. Oh, you're right. Need you to set a trap. Just watching some corner you gas. You trying to live your most Canadian life right now? <laughs> Um Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you th Hmm, I guess I don't have much left here. Somos a veces Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Don't see how we can make Somos tres a veces. Need you to set Snacking a trap. on some nutty club. What kind of trap you nice. 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 Okay, I don't think we have anything for this guy, so. Don't see how we can. Never thought I'd have to do a thing like that. I'm finished. You bought one of those 20 foot inflatable two men and my neighbor is upset. Why is your neighbor upset? That's uh... That there's one of my most prized possessions. Poster of this dancing girl I fancy. Jennifer's her name. She's got this grace and power about her, you know? Sexy, but a little intimidating. But in a way that makes her even more appealing. Oh, well, it breaks my heart to part with it. But if you really need it, it's so I never weird. thought to ex inspect these rooms. The bar keeps beloved poster, huh? Ooh, I feel kind of bad that I didn't check out the, these rooms. Oops. There's probably some good stuff in these ones. Hey! Anything... That you hear me? Well then, <laughs> best get a move on, kid. Okay, we can't take her stuff. Best twenty. To They're not gonna like that one bit. Uh. Best $200 you ever spent. Says it makes the place look bad, like we live in a national park. <laughs> Fifth bell. Oil in a bottle makes for a quick and easy way to start a fire. It'll take a moment to prepare. Reckon it's worth doing? Yeah. Okay. Let me show... 
Um, Bottle fire. Just... You can take it. She just won't like it is all. Totally fair. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Pretty sure we already had some. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? Um, gosh, sorry. Um, Briggs says, I'm hoping Brock Lesnar shows up for an episode. And Nekomi says, yes, you can. Check it again. You can take it, but you won't like it is all. The item was changed between the original and the remake, though. Also, the tonics were alcohol and the jerky were smokes in the original. I mean, they say sh shit and all that kind of stuff in this. I'm surprised they changed the, the tonic to an from an alcohol. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you think? Pretty sure we... Set a trap. What kind of trap you think? <laughs> Give me a pack of jerky to calm my nerves. Get all jerky without jittery without some jerky, right? Is her is her item a, a trap or I mean can it be a trap? It's equipment. Oh, okay. Hey. Well then. <laughs> hey. Uh, nope. Don't think I can take well it. Okay. <laughs> I think I have everything. She was doing something. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you? But maybe it, she wasn't actually. Pretty sure. Need you to set a trap. But I think I have all my traps. Kind of trap you think? My traps are all dealt with. I have no more tramps. Yeah, it seems most traps are ready, yeah. Boing. Six bell. I think we've got everything we can have. Fine horse you got there, kid. A real beauty. Huh. After I collect your bounty, I'll have to buy a new one. Maybe I'll name it after you. On to the dead. Rude. Yeah, I was in all these places. Okay. Well, good luck, everyone. I hope you're able to finish your traps. I'll just uh, hang out. Oh, good job, Billy. Oh, good job, Clint. Boing. I think, Seventh bell. think I understand the concept of how this is supposed to work now. Um, 
I probably would have not ever got a uh, Caesar to go out, but Caesar, but Okay, we're just missing two guys, I think. Will they make it back in time? The mystery deepens. Oh man, I hope they make it back in time. I probably should never have sent Cesar out. Oh good, okay, at least one more. Okay, so the Cesar one's probably not gonna get done in time, but hey. That's okay. I learned my lesson. Oh, <gasps> Cesar, I'm so proud of you. I think that's all of them. I think everyone got their their traps ready, which is very good. I didn't think he was going to make it. Okay, just waiting. Be nice if we could fast forward now. Oh, okay. Oh. Said it's fake. Aloxer, uh, hi, you're playing this. Also one of the hardest chapters, though, if you like to set the trap. Interesting. I think we... Hey, kid. That's the eighth I think bell. we got all the traps up, though. Or all the traps I found, at least. And hey, Aloxer, how you doing tonight? Yeah, you got most of them. You should be okay, sweet. Oh yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure they all got set. Yep, yeah, would do, but I think we're gonna be okay. Oh no, it's the crazy bunch. Thank God, finally. After three days and three nights of walking through the desert, civilization. At long last, see what? The good Lord hasn't forsaken us. Mm. Best not to come in here, sir. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so sad! Yeah, everyone, everyone got all their stuff, so. Like, everyone came back from setting their traps, so. Huh? Why in the hell someone put this here, of all places? <sighs> That's just... <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> That's weird. 
Why is there a babe picture right here? <laughs> Oh, those poor horses. There's too much horse death. You will come outside and present yourselves to me at once. Refuse, and we will treat you as we would any other pests and smoke you out of your burrow. Yeah, looks like I missed one at the end there. Mister? It's time, mad dog. It's time, mad dog. You got that right. I've been waiting to look this devil in the eye. Yeah, Loxer, you forget I'm the JRPG professor. I've played a lot of these kinds of games. I've just played a lot of video games. <laughs> Today is not the day for you to find your courage. Should the worst come to the worst, should the two of us be killed, it falls to you to protect these people. But you won't be killed, right, kid? Of course not. Of course not. Course not. I'm the bomb dot com. I mean, It is you, then, you who educated Pack and his brothers so deftly in the ways of war. Nice, Eloxer. I owe you a debt for the generosity you showed my disciples. We are men of violence, yes, but we are nevertheless men. And so... I will repay you in our common currency. In blood and lead and death! Ooh, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at him. In some battles, groups of enemies may be led by a leader. By defeating the single foe, you can overpower the remaining ones and force them to retreat. Ragnar, what's going on? What's on the up and up? Nice. Easier since the path blocks the boss already open. You killed most of them on the traps. Nice. Ragnar, I feel like myself again. It's great. That is so awesome to hear, my friend. Don't ask for mercy. I've none to give. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get rid of baddies first. <laughs> wow, rude. Love that counter shot. Ragnar, it was three miserable days. I'm going to work to get as far away from that place as possible. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm glad that you're feeling like yourself again now. That's very important. Yes, of course. Yeah, you got this, Pando. Easy peasy. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. Hmm. Hmm. Damage high. Damage medium. Hey, Wonderswan. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. What's going on? What's on the up and up? <laughs> raid, raid, raid. Wonderswan. How was stream tonight? Not what were you streaming, my friend? Oh, Suikoden! Are you enjoying Suikoden? I owe you. <laughs> Welcome on in, Raiders. Hello, hello. Oh. Folks, if you don't follow Wonderswan, please go do. Wonderswan's a great person and a really uh, valued member of our community. Um, if you don't already follow them, please do. Um, and hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, hello, I am Pando. I stream JRPGs. Uh, we're playing through, uh, Ooh, okay. He definitely had a mean shot, but we're going to revive our friend here and it's going to be okay. Um, items, jerky on my pal. Oh, is it only on myself? Oh, there we go. I'll die when I'm good and ready. Wonder Swan. Yep, it's a breezy, easy game. Nice. But yeah, we're uh, we're currently going through my first um, playthrough of uh, of Live Alive. I've been meaning to play this game for a many a year. Oh. 
There are rumors that Panda's next pull might include Suikoden too. It's you're not wrong. <laughs> Oh, rude. Spiritual Enigma. If it also includes Grandy and Star Ocean 2, IDK what to pick? Oh, I guess we'll have to see. I'm going to put up the poll tonight after stream. Heck yeah. <gasps> A horse? As I live and breathe, did he just turn into a horse? Hey, Cyber Shinobi, how you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up? Lord have mercy. It's true. Until Odeo came along. Story was that the Sioux and Cheyenne had massacred Custer Seven. Not a man survived, but a single Union horse did. <laughs> they said he was death itself. And maybe they were right. Born of those fallen soldiers. Something cruel. <laughs> Union strong. Hey, Zelly. He never slept, they said. Never slept and would never die. That's a buff horse. A pink horse. A horse of many colors. Nekomichi. Okay, so it was said earlier that Odio was the only survivor of the Custer's Brigade, right? In real life, a single horse was the only survivor. Oh. I don't know how to thank you, kid. Yeah, I know that they're all connected somehow, but I try to stay away from spoilers. Well, maybe I do, stranger. But it is exciting, Aloxer. That's all well and good for you, but not for me. You neither, kid. We've got unfinished business, you and I. That's right. That's right. Mad dog wants me then. Dead. Dead? Stop it! Please! You beat Oteo together, didn't you? Stay out of it. This is between me and him. Ain't that right, kid? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go to sleep, Ragnar? Okay, then. One. Two. Three. Sundown four. is very cool. Oh, I...
Heck yeah, I'm good. He just really wants you to sign his sundown collectible card. And you shot him, I know. Do you have to go so soon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say at times like this. But I suppose I ought to thank you. Oh, I'll do it. Thank you for everything, mister. Oh, actually, if I can ask you for something. If it's about the badge, it's okay. I don't need it anymore. Wondrous one, I am a sucker for this 2.5D look, but I kind of want to stream the original version of this. Yeah, that was actually going to be my plan. I read about Live Alive. Like, I always knew about Live Alive, but I really read about it um, a few a few months ago. And I was like, yeah, we're definitely going to stream this. And then they announced the, the remake, and I was like, oh, well, I guess that'll be the easy way to stream it. But uh, on the other hand, I would have liked to see, like, the original version, too. Just a piece of cheap tin in the end. I reckon I can serve these people as their sheriff well enough without it. One more thing. I can't leave you with just words. Right, Wonder Swan? It does look great. There's something else we ought to give you. I'm afraid we don't have a lot to offer. Just a few bits of loose gold. But if you want it, it's yours. Will you take it? I don't want your money. I don't want your money. Huh? Really? I'm just a man in a poncho. It's been a long, long time since I had the chance to do something good and decent. That's reward enough. Oh, kid. Enchilada says, the original is good, too. There are some extra things here that the Switch version offers. Yeah, I guess that's always, like... I always like when they flesh things out just a little bit. Or, you know, add, make make things just a little bit... I don't know. Add a little bit more. Dark Moon Shadow, how you doing? Son of the streamer that's a big fan of the original. The remake came out. Yeah. We're playing the remake. <laughs> Cyber Shinobi. Like, he kept it in the plastic casing and everything. It was like, ooh, ooh, I want to get Sundown's autograph. Then in comes Pandoish. Rootin' tootin' guns a blazin'. That was all she wrote. <laughs> it's him. It's gotta be him. That man there once made a name for himself as the fastest lawman in the West. But as his legend grew, more and more gunslingers hoping to make their own came calling. Came to a head when a gang of outlaws rode through his town, leaving all manner of tragedy in their wake. Not long after he vanished, and then a bounty was put up for a theretofore unheard of renegade. A fortune to tempt the greedy to follow him into the desert. A means to make amends or earn a final reprieve. The kid. Ah, uh, of course. Hey, mister! Kid! We'll never forget you! He was the fastest lawman in the West. Uh, 
We sure are, Mr. Johnny Ringo. Woohoo! We did it. We finished a second chapter. Wow. Okay, we're going to start a third chapter tonight. Yeah. The Sundown Kid. Mad Dog. Annie and Billy. Nekomichi, the item you couldn't get was Annie's diary. It was Annie's panties in the original. Of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> was it her uh, underwear in the Japanese version? Or did they change it to her diary in the Japanese version as well? It's diary in all versions of the remake. Okay. Odio. Odio. Dio. Listen to the mad whistling Skittles. There's a panties item in another chapter that got changed. Oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> Just like the L. Colin Smokes got changed in all versions. It's funny because the dialogue is still. Is, well, it's quite spicy, but then they change the alcohol out? That one doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> Rina Iwata. That's a nice name. Rena. Apparently there's a few things that got changed in other chapters too for sensitivity issues, of course. For localization or for modern day audiences, right? I can I can get behind those changes. We're going to take down his wanted sign. Because he's a good man. Or they keep it up because that's what he wants, right? He wants to be wanted so people come chasing after him. Rogues and bandits. So that all the ne'er-do-wells will follow him into the desert. Kids shouldn't be drinking coffee. <laughs> On the road again. See you, space cowboy. You forgot that Shimomura did the music for this? If you recall correctly, it was her first score. Oh, that's awesome. Beautiful. Oh, hey, we, we hit a sub goal. So bonus add. Woo. Hello, Flammy. How you doing? Darkwing Shadow, there are a few changes that were kind of eh, but nothing that ruins the game. Fair. Additional entries have been added to gameplay tips. Okay, so there we go. So we finished Prehistory and the Wild West. I will now, I will now put up another poll for the next one that we will start, we will do next. Okay, what era next? Or what chapter next, I guess? What chapter next? So what chapter should we do next? We got... The near future. We've got the distant future. We've got Edo Japan. We've got Imperial China. 
And we've got present day. Okay, I'm gonna give this poll a five minute duration. And while this poll's running, I'm going to, uh, so it's live. The poll's up there. Um, so you all can go up there and choose, go to the poll and choose. I'm gonna BRB very quickly. Um, so you can, um, Dark Moon Shadow Bummer, you already did Pogo Story. That one is long but funny. I kind of actually found it a little bit boring, but, uh, but yes, I'll be right back. Please vote in the poll and choose what I will play, which one I'll play next. Um, and I'll be right back.
I'm back. I saw Imperial China one. Um, hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, to me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so here we are. Oh, that's the wrong controller. Um, stretching the old eyeballs. No, I stream for you, awesome Mr. Johnny Ringo. Uh, yes. So here we go. Finish these two. So off to Imperial China it is. An old Chinese master nearing the end of his life yearns to preserve his kung fu for future generations. With this purpose, does he venture forth from his home atop Mount Aspiration in search of a worthy successor to his legacy. Once he has gathered three disciples, he will subject them to relentless training to strengthen the body, enhance the reflexes, and unlock true potential. Of these three, who will rise to the occasion and become the next Shifu? Oh yeah, here we go. Sorry, I took a little bit longer because I also made myself some tea at the same time. Mm. And it's still hot. Do not burn your lips off. In time, all fades from memory. Oh. For the sake of future generations, an old man labors tirelessly to preserve his legacy. And Chilada asks Panda, would you like a little hint with this chapter? Um... Not yet. A powerful martial art. This is the one I've actually played in the demo. Um, and I got... I'm not sure quite how far I got, but... Earth and Heart Shifu. Okay. Main character design Yoshihide Fujiwara. The Earthen Heart. Period. With a spirit unwavering as the earth, and a mind tranquil as flowing water. This sounds like a... Um, gentle streams may surge with such strength to shatter even hardened stone. Warrior smooth moves. <laughs> the elephant, tranquil... To cultivate the soul and surpass the flesh. To strive for something greater than oneself that was his kung fu nekomichi the main gag in this chapter is that shifu is voiced by the person who usually dubs jackie chan in japanese oh okay okay mm. it's as i feared I have not a moment to lose. I must use what time is left to me to find and train the disciple, a young prodigy, as strong in body as young spirit. It's Kung Fu time. It's true, Dark Moon Shadow. A worthy successor to my heart. Imperial China. The successor. Rex, I guess Calgary beats Winnipeg. <laughs> I think Calgary's a fine city. I think, you know, almost anywhere is fine. And it's and what you make so of it. it. But the Shifu began his search for a young heir. Hmm. Long had it been since he last ventured down from the mountains. Rex had a job offer in Calgary and he doesn't like Calgary. Rex, I just don't like living in big cities. Even Revelstoke was too big for you. Oh, that's a bummer. 
I like living in cities. Oh, one second. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm, what is it? A pork bun. A set of weathered garments. Ooh, a red bean bun. Do you all, have you all had red bean uh, sweets? I, I ate them in Japan. Um, and I enjoyed them. They were, they did take a little getting used to though. A tuft of white clover. A tuft of white clover. That's why Ken and Naskis was perfect. Still in the Rockies, but downtown Calgary was 70 minutes away. Flam as heck. I'm getting old. Cold. Oh, cold. Not old. <laughs> uh, Brick says, I had some weird Canadian coffee thing today. Are you talking about the coffee crisp? Pando play panda. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Card, what's, how are you doing? What's on the up and up? What were you streaming? You were also streaming live alive. Heck yeah, welcome on in, Card. I hope you're having a great evening. Uh, me, Raid. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, Raiders. Hello, hello. Uh, Brig, Coffee Crisp is real good. It's I really like that chocolate bar. Um, just finished it. Nice. We just made it to our third chapter. Uh, well, welcome on in, Raiders. Hello, hello. If you don't follow Eckhart, go please do that. Eckhart's really ra awesome and rad. Um, for those of you who don't know me, hello, I'm Pando. I stream JRPGs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and on Fridays, we're playing through Castlevania currently. So if any of that sounds rad news rhinos to you, please give me... Uh, please uh, come on in and have a follow and sit down and enjoy. But otherwise, uh, thanks so much for joining in on the raid. It means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you. Ahead, Mount Aspiration Summit. You need to find pants. Don't we all? <laughs> but yes, if you're cold, uh, putting on clothes, more clothes like pants, very important. <laughs> Nekomichi is burrowed under blankets in bed. The heat wave uh, broke for you finally, right? I know it broke in Vancouver, and you all have very similar weather, so. Bird Eye Speedwell, right? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. It's only 67, wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. Who was your second chapter? We did, um, we did, uh, the Wild West. So we've done prehistory, Wild West, and now we're on the Imperial China. Wild West was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it too. Ooh, yes, the bamboo forest. They said it's supposed to get warm this weekend, but not as warm. You only got two traps. Oh, I think I got the majority of them. You're sufficiently clothed now. I'm really happy for you, Flammy. It's very important to be warm and clothed. Hey! 
Hmm. Oh, he's weak to... Oh, but I can do it. It's fair. Um... Is looking That's around the all. corner. Because <laughs> the kitty wants to chomp me. That's why. Nature's providence. Yeah, Kitty did pick the fight. Like kitties tend to do. Let me just point that out for the folks at home. Better when kitties have stabby stabbies and black magic. I mean, uh, <laughs> Mr. Johnny R Ringo, pff, kitties are angels. Yeah, right. That's like they, they got you fooled. They're up to no good. <laughs> yeah, play fighting. <laughs> no, I think that kitty wanted to chomp my arms off. Um, as many tigers as. I need to. Not so fast. An old man should know better than to walk alone in the woods. Hand over your money. Quickly, or else. Who's that Pokemon? Still kicking it, still here, lurking and saying hi. Thank you, Math Mission, for the resub. How you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up? These people be moving like ninjas, right? I'm afraid I have nothing for you. Oh, hmm. Very well, take this. Well. Take this. A wise decision. Now run along and pray we don't cross paths again. Oh, okay, I think I want to fight her. The first time I did this, I just fought her right away. Oh, another tiger, right? So many tigers. Hey! You did well. It's like they grow on trees. There's so many tigers. What's up with that? Go beat up a panda for a change. Oh, I beat myself up every day. This is before they were endangered, right? This is a different time. <laughs> we're making them endangered now. What do you want, old man? This is no place for the likes of you. Old fool, get you gone! Before you make me do something I won't regret. Oh, okay, jeez. Gosh, never mind. was a very, very difficult day yesterday, but still here, still kicking it. I'm very happy to hear that. You're still here. This old man started the tiger hunting trade, right? <laughs> you got, he was selling the tiger hunting pelts. 
as the chipmunk. Have a good support network there locally. I'm really glad to hear that. It's very important. I see. You did well. Not so fast. Okay, we'll try this again. An old man, hand over your money. Quickly. I am afraid I have nothing for you. What was that? I said I have nothing to offer. Nothing to offer that you would appreciate, that is. That right. Don't think I'll go easy on you because of your age. In fact, I think your long life ends today. Yeah, because you took all of it already, right? <laughs> Okay, she's toasted and roasted. to disrespect their elders, nor underestimate their skill. I must say, I'm impressed by your speed and agility. Might you consider abandoning this life of banditry and instead allow me to teach you my kung fu? Piss off, old man! Wow, rude. Oh, it's going to eat at me, not knowing how you run so easily. Fine, I accept. Let's see what's so great about your kung fu. But don't misunderstand me. You're not my Shifu, and I'm not your student. All right, Shifu's bidding hot fire. I'll get my revenge on you. <laughs> You've a lot of spirit, young lady. Oh, I'm no lady. I'm Lei, Lei Kugel, and don't you forget it. You may rest assured that I will not. It is a good, strong name, worthy of pride. But pride will lead you astray if you let it. As it did, not so long ago. Ooh, burn. <laughs> Quick with the retorts, aren't you? Lead on, then. We'll see if you're as good as you say. Yeah. Ooh, Lake Hugo became your disciple. Yeah, did you not see him take on those tigers with his bare hands? <laughs> okay, uh, equipment. gonna auto equip them. Ooh, hello, let's get that tiger. He had help from the chipmunks. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter how you do it, if you're destroying things, you're rad as heck. As I mean if I saw some old man fighting tigers with chipmunks, I'd be pretty darn impressed myself. <laughs> Yo, yo, tiger, what's up? I, yeah, I know Nekomichi. I don't think he's actually using chipmunks. Just a style based on their movement. Of course. Of course he's not actually using chipmunks. <laughs> I understand the concepts of, uh, of kung fu named after animals. <laughs> it's just a funny thought. <laughs> Just someone <laughs> chucking chipmunks. Stuff.
fly me. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Great question. Be careful, traveler. A sickness is spreading here that's sure to give an old man like you a terrible stomach ache. Oh, okay. I hear bandits are seeking to profit off the sickness. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm? Hmm, I don't believe it. The pain's gone just like that. Thank you so much, Shifu. Please take this. Hmm, if it isn't a red bean bun. Yoon's been acting strangely ever since his grandmother caught the sickness. Oh. Here you go, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How strange. I'm feeling better already. Thank you again, Shifu. I cannot thank you enough. Please take this. Mm -hmm. But isn't it an iron walk? Oh, how fun. Uh -oh. Mmm? Mmm, how strange. I'm feeling better already. Wait, aren't you? Now it's got VO. Sorry about that. I thought so. You're the Shifu I've heard so much about. You have my thanks and my apologies. That was my grandson, Yuin, who just ran through. Oh, Yuin. He is a kind and considerate boy, usually. These days, though, he's not quite himself. Maybe it's just a phase. He lost his parents when he was young, and while I did my best, there's no making up for that. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, they're all kind of saying the same thing. Ooh, a pork bun. Some suspicious. Some suspicious looking folks have been hanging around the wagon yard of late. Nekomichi said he would chuck he wood as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Beautiful. Beautiful work, folks. It must be tough for you in having to look after his grandmother by himself, especially now that she's taken ill. Well, I just cured her, so. I beat the sword master and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> There are fortifying herbs that grow in the bamboo forest, which can cure the sickness I hear. But then I've also heard that the forest is teeming with bandits, so... Okay, well, I'm all out right now, but folks, I'll come back with more. Where do you think you're going? Well, don't keep me waiting now. Okay. No. No. This won't do at all. You need to learn to pick your targets better. Now, get back out there and try harder. Uh, yeah, I have played Monkey Island. I played through the first three, I think, and then I also played some of the Telltale ones. Uh, but I played the originals uh, a long time ago, though. But I... I did love them a whole heck of a lot. Um, I actually have a really great artwork uh, from Monkey Island. I've been meaning to get framed um, for a very long time. It's a beautiful watercolor. Don't just stand there. Get going. Of course, Penn was a mighty pirate. No, I won't. What? 
was that? I did what you told me to do because I was too scared to refuse. But enough is enough. I told myself it was for her. Too sick to work now, even. But these poor people, they're someone else's elders. I can't keep stealing from them. I'll give you a chance to apologize for your disrespect. Aloxer, video game irony, ah, sad logic sometimes, plot demanding also, like, boss when you fight him, level 200, plus plus buff, overpowered skill, and other privilege, boss when you recruit him, her level 30, 20, standard equipment and skills, lols, yep, that's definitely the video game way, flammy pirate I was meant to be, trim the sails and roam the sea, exactly, arr, love those RPGs. I'll not live my life as a whip dog for a bastard like you <laughs> oh but you will you will learn to accept your place in this world now apologize before I lose my temper no uh, ungrateful whelp walk away old man if you value what little life you've got left Pardon me. Pardon me. What do you want? Tell me. Do you believe yourself stronger than this boy? <laughs> A stupid question. And yet, in truth, you and your associates are rather weaker. <sighs> are you blind? Look on me. The great. Sun Tzu Wen, and tell me I am not a thousand times the man he will ever be. I do not deny that you have an impressive physique. However, true strength is not derived from the body alone, and that is why I believe this boy to have greater potential than all of you combined. <laughs> really? I can't see it! That much that is, much is plain. plain. True strength flows from the heart. Here we go. Do you know the best video villain in video game I history? John Arenicus, that is. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> Luca Blight blows Arenicus away. It's Arenicus. Arenicus. Oh, Baldur's Gate. I've never played Baldur's Gate. Um, but I really ought to. Okay. Um, One of these days we'll do that one shot. Yeah, one of these days. One of these days, Math Mission, I believe in us. <laughs> With the ferocity of life. Because I don't have enough video games to play right now, which is quantifiably false. It's a joke. When I have too many video games to play. Um, I started playing um, Aiden Chronicles uh, Rising, and I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, it's been really a fun, just little little game. I really like it quite a bit. Flammy, I have never played D and D. Never had the chance. Nikomichi says, your friend who's a big Baldur's Gate oh, fan says that Arenicus is not the best film. Well, everything's subjective. Everything's subjective. Aloxer, hard to decide. Albert Wesker, Big Boss, Unsolid Snake Timeline, etc. Hmm. Flammy, you can't convince me otherwise. 
Wait. I recognize him. Me too. He, he knows Kung Fu. That's the Earth and Heart. He's the Shifu. Oh, right, because that's I could have chose the Earth and Heart name, right? Him? I, uh... Forgive me, Shifu! Forgive me! Yeah. Respect me. Brother! Mr. Johnny Ringo, d, d requires commitment and planning a schedule with friends. Yeah, you know, I, uh... You should be proud, young man. I've tried it a few times. Tried different different tabletop RPGs, not just D and D, but a myriad of them. And I don't know. I think I've determined they're not exactly for me. But how can you say that? I stole your money. Uh, your money. Here, take it. Slammy, I get the commitment at least. I've done Final Fantasy XIV statics before. Remember the strength of spirit you found today. Wait, wait! Please accept me as your disciple. I'm afraid I must decline. I'm afraid I must decline. Tell me, do you wish to learn Kung Fu to exact revenge on those brigands? Uh, well... Fear not, for you have already more than defeated them. But, Shifu, please, please allow me to be your disciple. Please, I implore you. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. I won't take no for an answer. Ruthless Panda is ruthless. I think that you can't accept him as your your disciple. I, I played it through a little bit of this one on the demo, and I'm pretty sure I can't choose it. Like, I think it will happen naturally. Uh, well, almost forgot to choose Revolver Ocelot over Big Boss on villain terms, though, of course. Oh, I'm beside myself with worry. My grandson's got missing. Not only does he know Kung Fu, he's a master of a specific type of Kung Fu, right? Very exciting. Kung Shifu, exactly. Oh. Allow me to be your disciple. Please, I implore you. Well, if you insist. Shifu! You showed bravery in the face of overwhelming odds. I am sure you would grow much stronger, whether I were to train you or not. For the power you seek is beyond no one. Be the man or woman, old or young, it matters not. For it is the will to improve, to be better. Therein lies true strength. Ah, uh, wise. I, I see. I do not believe you have told me your name. I'm Yuin. Yuin Jo. You won't regret this decision, Shifu. I promise you. <laughs> Yuin Juo became your disciple. Um... So I'm just doing this totally fresh. I'm not trying to... Like, backseating is usually mostly okay in my streams, but I want to do this one fresh because I would play this without any help if I played it on my own. Uh, and I was intending on playing it on my own first, so... We're just going to let this happen naturally. If I choose the wrong one or not the best one, that's okay. We'll figure it all out. <laughs> Normally, I'm like pretty cool with backseating, like in a lot of the games we play. But this one, this one is a little bit different because I was planning on playing this 
totally alone and then streaming it like you know a few months later but it just worked out for me to play it first on stream so it's been a while since your last visit shifu shifu you've returned it's so good to see you thank you this one brute's been running around stirring up trouble recently Shifu, as I live and breathe. Forgive my poor hospitality, but food is scarce as gold these days. It's okay. No worries, everyone. Stop! Stop! You've got to pay for that! Wow, this kid is nimble. Quick, someone grab him. First one to grab him gets a free meal. Yeah, he wants him dead. He wants to shove gut him right here and there. Uh -huh. Caught you. Finally. Now, pay what you owe right this instant. I can't. I don't have any money. Oh, really? Well, We'll just have to find another way to settle this then, won't we? The voracious thief, right? It's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to lie. Every time I play like um, stuff or watch stuff set in Japan or China and they're like eating like noodles and rice and stuff, I'm always like, I'm mega craving to order myself some noodles and rice. <laughs> but then again, I'm a oh, mega shit. craving to order myself noodles and rice like every day. So <laughs> this idiot's been stealing food from me since I don't know when. He single-handedly brought my business to the brink of ruin. Teach the scoundrel a lesson. Very well. I'll say to the lad. Wait, please. Don't do this. Am I just going to beat on this poor kid? I don't think I did this the last time. But maybe I did. Show him some chipmunk! That's my chipmunk chip chirp. <laughs> oh, he is resistant to chipmunks. Chipmunk life, so... As you shouldn't, young man. You ate food that wasn't yours. Shifu. Let that be a lesson to you, thief. Steal from me again, and I'll take it out of your hide. Tell me, why take without paying what is due? I cannot pay because I have no job. No one will hire me. I have no skills, no trade. My words are poor, but my body is big, as is my hunger. I must eat. Young man, do not bemoan your body. It is a gift. It is a gift. Huh? But it is why I suffer. 
why people laugh and call me names. How is that a gift? Because, young man, it makes you wonderful and unique. But it is for you to decide whether you will embrace your potential or deny it in shame. Ooh. P potential? You think I have potential? Shifu said I have potential. Bom, bom, bom. You move with the swiftness of a man half your size. Practice. After I eat, I must run. Come with me. And I'll see that you never want for food. All I ask in return is that you take part in a few training exercises. Think of it as a job, if you like. And your meals, the payment. A, a job? I've always wanted a job. Thank you, Shifu. I accept. Tell me, what is your name? H Hong. Hong Haka. When do we start? And when do we eat? Ha-ha! Ooh, Hong Haka became your disciple. Well, it looks as though I found my three disciples. I'm afraid my school has seen better days. But it will suffice. Come, let us go and begin your training at once. <laughs> Wait, is this Journey to the West? <laughs> Oops, I always press the wrong button. Um... Okay, let's uh, just adjust some equipments here. Everyone can enjoy hoi soup dumplings again. Go and ask the Shifu to train you. I can't wait to get my hands on another dumpling. Ooh, I would like some soup dumplings, please. Now everyone can enjoy hoi soup dumplings again. Have you heard? There's sickness in Wong. I sincerely hope it doesn't spread here, too. Hoi's restaurant is the most popular in Nympha. Here's hoping we'll see more business in the days ahead. Take this with my thanks. Ooh, a pork bun, so kind. Our youth with a hearty appetite should eat their fill. Why don't you have this? Ooh, a porcelain bowl. A man who never eats soup dumplings is never a whole man. That glutton ate every last one of my soup dumplings. It'll take ages to prepare another batch, and I'm out of ingredients. Mega dumplings, please. Panda size. Hmm, <laughs> yes, I would like some mega dumplings. Thank you. Never a whole man. Hey, Vincent, how you doing tonight? What's going on? What's on the up and up, my friend? Sure, the markets will be busier than ever before we know it. The markets will prosper again thanks to you, Shifu. Why don't you have this? Oh, thank you. So kind of you all. Shifu, you've returned. It's so good to see you. It's been a while since your last visit, Shifu. You want a sleeping dogs too? Well, hate to break it to you, but that developer is long shuttered. <laughs> I mean, I know you know that, but I'm just going to say it again for the sadness of all. But you know what? I mean, it could happen. I've been shocked by by things before. Video games, am I right, folks? Flammy, yes, this is totally Journey to the West story. Nice. I'm going to go run, run us through some tigers here quickly. Um, just do one tiger run. Get a little bit, a couple levels here if we can. And then we'll uh, go back home.
Aloxer, same with me. Back then, when I hoped they make another Kingdoms of Amalur series. Hmm, not too bad. The lore is interesting. Gnome with the Roman Empire, style, military, etc. The developer is long shuttered. Yep. You also will not get another Kingdoms of Amalur because they are also long gone. Though their story is a little bit more sad because I think their financials were totally poorly handled. Um, I think that it was just a bad, a bad situation all around. Reckoning was supposed to be a prequel to an MMO. But yeah, gosh, I forget the name. It was like an old baseball player, right? That opened, like, Clint. Maybe is that right? Either way, it was a guy. Baseball player. Kurt Schilling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, um... There is some shady business there. <laughs> That's the stuff. Ooh, level two. Good job, kid. You in? She's the monkey, he's the kappa, and the fat guy is the pig. Oh! You know, I should probably learn about Journey to the West. <laughs> I mean, I hear it referenced all the time. I mean, I know bits and pieces of it, but... Oh, my stairs are over here, I think. Mekomichi, but yeah, where Reckoning came from is when they were developing the ideas for the MMO, they had the question of why are PCs able to respawn come up? So they decided it would be it was because they could go through the well of souls. Oh, very fun. So that was kind of like their plot. You know, I've never played Kingdoms of Amalur. I think I own it on Steam. So Reckoning is the first time anyone ever came to the Well of Souls. Nice. I bid you welcome to my school. Where you will learn the earthen heart. You weren't kidding when you said it had seen better days. So this is where I'll learn Kung Fu. But, but first we eat, yes? We cannot train if we do not eat, surely. At least a little, yes? No, we must begin training immediately. But, Shifu! This place was further up the mountain than I expected. Maybe we should rest a bit? Listen to yourselves, whimpering children. Bring it on, old man. I'm ready. We shall begin by assessing your present strength and skill. I'll go first. As you wish, Lee. Now, come at me with all your might. You asked for it! Amongst the lights. I can listen to the battle music so much all day. It's really good battle music. Youth must 
lost. I don't feel so good. Hey, Specs, what's going on? What's on the up and up, my friend? Pen a pen. There's much to learn. It's true, I do. you and as a chip <laughs> the longest journey begins with but a single step nice. you did well Work is over. Vacation is now. How long is your vacation, Specs? And are you pumped? You have big plans? You've all exceeded my expectations. I have to say, this is the most fun I've had in years. <laughs> That's great. I hope you're all having so much fun getting beat to a pulp. Mm. Who'd have thought I'd find three promising disciples so quickly? I've not felt this tired in a long time, but it is a welcome fatigue. Hong, what's wrong? A week in Vegas? Nice. Uh, so... So hungry. Food. Hong, even after all that, you still have cravings? Now then, it is vital that we improve your stamina. The air here at the summit is very thin. So you have to expand twice as much effort during your training. Rex, I had a whistle dog from A&W the other day. Not as good as you remember. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't get a hot dog from A&W. Because I really like their burgers, so. Four bounce is our limit for today, I would say. With whom shall I start? Training your disciples. By favoring a disciple with a training bout, you will help them to grow stronger by increasing in level and acquiring new abilities. Okay, so I see this is the sneaky part. Well, I I'm just gonna choose who I like the best. Um so Lay, I'm with you, Nekomichi. Their poutine is awful. How do you mess up poutine? Well, I mean I wouldn't get fast food poutine anyway. <laughs> fast food poutine's never gonna be what you want. Show me. McDonald's poutine ain't bad, TBH. Yeah, I mean, it's like extremely salty and they have, but they have good gravy. Like they have the correct gravy. I'll say it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Um, the gravy is 
one of the most important parts of a poutine, and I find that most places mess it up by going too dark, deep, dark of a brown gravy, or not doing anything thin and salty like a little sauce, because Quebecois poutine is made with like, like a, a light mushroom sauce. You can't do poutine with those tiny shoestring shoe fries. You can do poutine with, ever, with whatever the heck you want. My friend. You need the thick steak cup fries. I don't want super thick fries for a poutine. That's too much. Flammy cheese curds are a life. Indeed, they are very good. Must. Light mushroom sauce and smugness. Just the way I like it. That's me. I am like the snobbiest poutine snob. But the, that being said, I mean, like, cheese curds, well, even that, like, cheese, gravy, and french fries. I mean, I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm just going to admit it to you right now. I mega wega love all those things. <laughs> no, no. A fine display. Add sriracha on poutine. Uh, Two more rounds is enough. <laughs> so good. I'm ready, Shifu. Show me what you can do. Wise fox has many secrets. Now, now my wolf mouth watered a little bit. I see. <laughs> Ooh, good job. Excellent. Much better than I expected. Two more rounds should suffice. I'll earn my meal today. Show me what you can do. Yeah, we'll do this. Enough. I thought he was toasted and roasted, but not the case. Okay, he's got to be gone this time. Even the most mighty can be restrained. Flammy, I put my current mood at good internet stuff. Perfect. I'll check it out. One more round. Okay. Leg gets another one. Show me what you can do. Let me, let me take a, a look-see here. 
the old Discorderino. Ooh, welcome on in, Flammy, to the Discord. Okay, let's see. Good internet stuff. <laughs> that face. <laughs> That's a good face. <laughs> oh, wise Fox's Grace. You've must. There we go. You love Sriracha. Nice. I think that will do for today. Training in these conditions is tough, isn't it? <laughs> it was nothing. Hey! Get away from me! I don't need uh, your help. But, but you do, Lei. You can't really handle anything hotter like habanero. You know, I like really spicy but it depends on what I'm pairing it with like if I have a habanero salsa I can probably do it because a lot of the other stuff around it I can you know like if you have like a nice guacamole there it helps cool it down the chips are nice cools it down um but Hong is chill barista he is he is and my mother always said I should treat ladies with respect, so let us help. But when it comes, like, it was so funny. I got those Boldak uh, instant ramen noodles. The Samyang ones uh, with the hot chicken with the fi fire coming out of his mouth. And I just made them like I always make food. And I, I mean, I just like I always make those things. I just put the whole packet in there and I was eating them on stream for the first time. And I was like, this is too much. <laughs> It's so hot. Sapporo nudes are bust. Sapporo is my favorite. Um, is probably my favorite like mainstream uh, non-import noodles. But I love those stupid bulldog noodles. I just have to use less less sauce in there. Oh my gosh, the noodle texture is so chewy. That, mm, nice. Today, we'll be training to improve your speed and agility. Speed is not my strength. There's something odd about this ground. It seems hard to move around on. <laughs> this will be easy. I know this place like the back of my hand. <laughs> Thanks, Gloxer. Flemmy, I tried a hot chili dip. It was the Naga Jalokia variety. And what is what does that mean? <laughs> What's Naga Jalokia? Then let's begin. You'll see how fast I can move. Show me what you have learned. It was the hottest chili a few years back. It's been surpassed since though. Oh yeah, I don't I definitely don't think I could handle that. <laughs> I um I like spicy, but I I don't think I like that. <laughs> you must There's a point where it stops being like good and you can't like taste anything anymore, you know? Should do it. Let us spar, Shifu. Show me what you have learned. You must. It was surprisingly tasty. Those very hot peppers are a slow burn. Interesting. I had like an extremely hot, like hot wing 
at a local place. It was like their hottest one. And I was actually surprised by how little I thought it was hot. Um, so it's probably like a type of hotness that is more, uh, maybe more extreme to some people versus others. No slacking now. We're just getting started. Two more rounds. I will learn to move quickly. Show me what you have learned. Habanero is the most aggressive pepper, you know? Yeah, I wonder, because, yeah, I've had some, like, mango habanero salsa from Mrs. Renfro's, and that, that burned up my mouth pretty good. Bester Playinger, how you doing tonight? Uh, is this turn based in 2022? This is a remake of a game that has just, that just came out a week ago. I'm sure you know that, but, um... I would say that because it's remaking that it's not the the pinnacle. Okay, uh, so this is like a, a game that came out on the Super Nintendo back in the day. And they did a remake of it that just came out uh, two weeks ago. Uh, and this is that. So it's, um, it's your first time seeing that the sprites look attractive, don't they? It's gorgeous. So uh, it's called Live Alive. It's on the Switch, as you can see. I've got the Switch here uh, on the... The original release was 1994. Uh, it never came out in North America. It was only in Japan. Um, and they released it again uh, with, with you know, remake vibes. And it's been great. Oh yeah, Chrono Trigger was 95. Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh, it's really fun. It has uh, seven different chapters that are all set in different eras. I'm um, featuring different characters and stories. I believe they somehow link up at the end, but I don't actually know. So that's a uh, that's the secret, I guess. It's part of the excitement of the story. Enough. Mr. Johnny Ringo, you were just a wee lad. Bester playing girl. Your favorite game of all time is Earthbound, then Mario RPG, then Final Fantasy VII, then Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, these are uh, those are all really incredible games. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'm actually playing through it for my first time on Fridays. Uh, the castle is currently upside down, um, and it's been really fun. I haven't played it for like a month or so though because I've just been busy and haven't been able to stream on Fridays. But it's been so good. Um, for me though, I have played a lot of JRPGs, uh, I kind of consider myself, uh, an expert on the genre, you could say. Um, but you know, there's a gajillion games at any given time and I don't play them all, so. Neko Michi, it was so much fun, she didn't know about the second cast, like, yeah, I kind of thought we were beating it and then, little did I know. With but a single step. <laughs> Good job, Hong. It is a blast the first time. I stinking love Symphony of the Night. One more round. Flammy, I'm an emulations expert. I did play almost all the Final Fantasy games and Chrono Trigger. Nice. I have played. I own almost all of them, and I've at least played... I've played every single one except for two. But I haven't beat them all. I've just played all of them now in some capacity, except for two. Original two. OG two, not two that's actually four. Show me what you have learned. No, no, no. I played Final Fantasy IV. Which was what 2 was on the SNES. I have played that one. Um, but not the original 2. Not the original 2 that came out after 1 that never came out over here. You know Final Fantasy is a weird history. It went 1, 2, 3, 6 in North America. But it was actually 1, 4, 6, 7. <laughs> I don't even know anything about original 2. Yeah. Um, Didn't I say that? Sorry, did I skip a number? I meant one, two, three, seven. I just skipped a, a number in my brain. But I, yeah. 
Okay, yes. No, I didn't mean that. I meant one, two, three, seven. I just, uh, saying words and reading chat at the same time doesn't work. Very unhelpful. <laughs> Flammy, six is your absolute favorite. Six is really good. I am of the camp that, uh, seven is my favorite. Um, no, eight is my favorite. <laughs> I forget which one's my favorite. Uh, eight's my favorite, followed by, I think, seven and nine on equal... Bester, one, four, six, seven. Huh, that's when you play two. What the heck happened to two and three original? Um, well, they have had, they have come out since in North America. They've had a bajillion re-releases now. Um, I just don't think they were, I think they might have determined that like they were too difficult for North American audiences or like too weird. I don't know. I, I, I think they just decided that we didn't want them, maybe. I don't know. It was it was messed up as what it was. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Ringo, I can junction all day. <laughs> uh, six doesn't even need a remake. It's fine as it is. Six is a wonderful game. Uh, Vincent, eight really is the best. I need to play 12 yet, so that could take its spot. 12 is really, really, really good. Uh, the first time I played 12 I think was when it for today. came out. Uh, in... 2006, seven or six, right? Came out in 2006. Am I remembering that correctly? Anyway, when 12 originally came out, I played it for like uh, about an hour or two and I like died and lost like an hour of progress and I was really, really ticked and I'm like, I'll never play this game again. Uh, and then I did try again and then I got stuck at another part and I'm like, why am I bad at this? And then the Zodiac Age came out and I repicked that one up and then I just rocked that one like it was my dang job. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Uh, so. <laughs> Flammy, I kind of felt like eight insulted the intelligence of the players. Are you fine being insulted? The, the problem with eight for folks who don't like it, I find that it has like 8,000 tutorials that tell you literally nothing. Like you sit there and listen to the tutorials over and over and over and they still don't tell you how to actually play the game. Like everyone I know who played that game without really knowing things the first time, they always just end up like using their GFs a lot. And it t makes the battle so slow and long and understanding like how the actual junctioning system, like you, it's, you can get a basic understanding for it, but how you can actually wreck it to make it like amazing is just it's totally a it does they do not do a good job of explaining that at all and how important triple try it is um bester eight has the most fun junction system but it's broken you can hit level 100 in a few hours fighting t-rexes losing their cards too with new rule sets flammy yeah and you can break that game in half a second which i kind of i love it i i Eight was my first Final Fantasy, and it will always be one of my faves. So, <laughs> the those three, those three on the PS One are just super special. I don't, I do my not prescribe to the theory that Squall died at the end of Disc them. One. They will never admit it themselves. I fear I pushed them too hard today. I should go and see how they are doing. He doesn't. People think that he, when Squall gets iced at the end of uh, ah, disc one, must be truly exhausted to sleep so soundly on such a hard floor. People think that he dies there, but I don't agree with it. Flammy, I don't hate the game as much as I look at it with disdain. Hey, fair. <laughs> hmm? What was you in? Vincent, it's the only explanation for how weird the game gets. <laughs> I, I don't even think the game gets that weird. I don't know. I mean, it's just as weird as the rest of them. <sighs> Hong has her strength. Lei has her speed. I've got to find an edge. I can't lose to them. <sighs> oh. Ring. <laughs> 
Fester, you always skip stories and cutscenes. Well done, everyone. It absolutely goes off the handle after disc one. I mean, just as much as every other one of those games. I don't know. It just feels just as much as a Final Fantasy insanity is like seven or nine or, you know, six. You have all demonstrated sufficient mastery of the fundamentals. Henceforth, we will face one another not in sparring matches, but in true contest of strength. In so doing, you will learn to draw upon the power within. Now this is what I've been waiting for. If we win, we will be rewarded with a feast. Bester, you love grinding and farming. XP gold. In a real battle, your opponent will be fighting to kill. Vincent, I'm going to ruin your life. Also going to compress time for lols. Okay, so you're implying that you think Ultimicia is Renoa. And while I think that theory is really cool and I like it, uh, Square has outright said, no, that's absolutely not the truth. Which is uh, too bad, but also I think it's a really fun theory. Flammy, well, at least eight stories interesting, not like nine. I hate nine with a passion. I love nine. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Ringo, yeah, like when Cloud falls into the live stream because practically brain dead. Yes, and you have to re-piece his personality together. I, I kind of love that part, though. Which is why I shall be holding nothing back today. Nothing back. If all become much stronger, I can manage four rounds at best now. Who shall I challenge first? No holds barred, huh? I've been waiting for this. Show me your all. <laughs> well, Flammy, I don't know if we want to get rude about it. <laughs> but I think I think nine is a fine and fun game. Okay, let's go. The wise fox has many secrets. Right, I think y'all like Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I think it was like, um, people kind of talk about how it's like, um, a good starter Final Fantasy. Even the most mighty can be restrained. Mr. Johnny Ringo, let's all agree. 13 is atrocious. <laughs> I think, okay. I actually have negative feelings towards 13. Absolutely. But I'm just going to say here that if you love 13, I will not make you feel bad about it either. I just like everyone to enjoy the games they like, you know? Still three more rounds <laughs> No holds barred, huh? I've been waiting for this. Show me your all. Vincent King bought Final Fantasy IX on sale for five bucks. I felt it was worth it at least ten dollars after I played after you played it. Oh man. <laughs> I I really like nine. Enough. 13 has absolutely atrocious characters. Like, yeah. Okay. I agree. I don't like any of the characters in 13. I don't like, um, everyone is, um, not good. I, I 13 just kind of like dumps nap proper nouns on you like over and over when you first start and I'm like I'd keep going into the stupid like like dictionary or whatever to like find out what everything meant every five seconds and I was like this is this is way too many proper nouns <laughs> and yeah I don't I don't I don't like snow that's two down and two to go. I'll do my best. Show me your all.
Darkmoon Shadow, this is the way it usually goes. Kid from the village, eh. Big guy from the village, eh. Thief woman who lives in a jungle full of tigers, yes. I mean, she is rad as heck. They actually give her like a fun personality and she's like interesting. I don't know. I always like, I also always like the girl characters usually if, unless, if, unless they're like annoying. So um, I was going to, I was going to like her a lot. Lissy and Falsy, what? Right? And then like cocoons and something and oh god, it's the worst. I mean, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> the wise fox has many secrets. Just one more. Oh dear. Today I hunger for victory. Show me. Mm, I'm a little worried for Shifu here. Fifteen is almost as bad as thirteen with its narrative. I I very I very much also have strong opinions about 15 that I did not I super so love good. it at all. In fact, I quit that one pretty early on. I just, I could not get into it. I didn't love it. I will have to go back to it though because we're gonna play through every JRPG ever here, so. Don't even get me started with lightning. <laughs> That's all for today. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Shifu! Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. Rather, take heart. For my exhaustion is welcome evidence of your tremendous improvement. I'm nervous for Shifu. I'm in need of rest. If you would excuse me. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh dear. In time, all that begins must come to an end. Oh no. One morning, the Shifu realized he had little left to pass on to his disciples. And that their long days spent training would soon be a thing of the past. Nekomichi Lei, I'm a cold-hearted bandit only here to get stronger. This lesson is perhaps the most important. Listen well. But I like being treated like a lady and actually care, right? <laughs> have all become very strong indeed. But remember, true strength is more than the power to defeat your enemy. It is the power to defend yourself and that which you hold dear. Shifu! Shifu! It's you! Whatever happened, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm not here for you. Bandits from Wong. They're terrorizing the people of Uefa. I should have soon did, eh? <laughs> you say? It must be Sun Tzu Wong and his gang. They probably thought they could go to Uefa and carry on like before without attracting your notice. Anyone play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles? I'm curious to see if I should give that a go. I heard the the new like remaster or whatever is not super great. I'll deal with them. You would do no such thing. Strong as you've grown, it will be foolish and reckless. But you like it, Nekomichi? Do not misunderstand. I dare say you could defeat one and his entourage. But what will happen then? Others will come and the people of Yunfa will suffer. Violence begets violence. Hate breeds hate. 
You have all honed your bodies and minds, but your hearts are yet wanting. Nope, that's Dissidia, Flammy. Um, Crystal Chronicles is a multiplayer uh, Final Fantasy game. Fear not. I shall go to Yingfa. Hey, Daylight Dreamer, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. What's going on? What's on the up and up? And continue your training. Is that clear? How goes Final Fantasy VII Remake? Is it your first time playing? What's, uh, are you enjoying it? Welcome on in, Raiders. Hello, hello, I'm Pando. I've been doing really great. How have you been doing? For those folks, if you don't follow Darklight, please go do that. Playing some Final Fantasy VII Remake. We just did a whole bunch of Final Fantasy VII Remake a while ago, and it was really great. And hello, folks, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Pando. I stream JRPGs front to back. We go th we're going through every single one of them ever. And we're currently on Live Alive, so uh, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. Yes, Shifu. Darklight. I love Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've played through it once before, but we're doing a modded playthrough. We're going to play through the Integrate DLC for the first time after the main story. Really been wanting to get into Live Alive. Yeah. Heck yeah. Here and train, right? Quickly, Shifu, you must hurry. It's morning for me, but don't sweat the details. Hey, we'll no worries. You, <laughs> it's a really great Dark Light Streamer. I'd probably say we're on the there's seven chapters available at the start. Um, and I'm currently on a third chapter. I'm sorry, Shifu. I did not mean to speak out of turn. Please take care. Ooh, I didn't get this the last time. Yes, it's extremely enjoyable. Did you miss it last time or did Hong hide it there for a midnight snack? You know what? Maybe Hong hid it on us. You're right. I don't think any of this stuff is respawned though, right? Like I pick it up once and it's done. Yeah, absolutely, Dark Light. Absolutely. Thank you again so much for that raid and for sharing your community with me. That means so much. Um, it's very hilarious timing, though, because it's actually um, time for your old Pando here to uh, actually call stream. I would have gone a little bit later, but um, I was already kind of up late yesterday, and I did not get as much rest as one little panda would like but I will be back thanks I will be back uh, tomorrow I'm doing this because my camera for some reason wants to focus on my background and not on me see look at that what is Pikachu is glorious I get it but me I'm the star of the show <laughs> and yes I'll be here tomorrow for I'm guessing conclusion of the imperial china chapter um yes uh thank you so much i really do appreciate that dark light and let me just uh but yes tomorrow i'll be back with more uh live alive which will be very exciting and cool for us uh we'll be finishing up the uh the imperial china chapter um additionally we will um be playing uh symphony of the night on friday uh yeah catch you later thank you so much everyone for hanging out with me thank you for the bits thank you for the subs thank you for following and thank you for the raise just thank you for just being here it always means so much to me your humble pando let's find someone to send a 
to send a raid train over to since we just got a raid and then we'll you know pop another one over here know what i'm saying uh make sure this is muted so it doesn't blast my ear balls when we uh when we send a raid in okay we're gonna go raid rides z shoe puff she is playing through uh final fantasy 9 looks like she's doing some chocobo um chocobo hot and cold which is if you remember me playing uh Final Fantasy IX a uh, year and a half ago, it was a lot of Chocobo Hot and Cold. Um, yes, she rides the shoe puff. You might get the reference from Final Fantasy X. She's very cool. Uh, give her uh, the love, the follows. Just say hi in chat, you know. I think it always makes a streamer's day. Have a really great night, everyone. Rest well and be safe, okay? Bye.